Hey everyone, so today I am doing another cocktail inspired makeup look. I literally just woke up, I haven't even showered yet because I've got a facial later so I thought I would do my makeup, have some fun and then have a shower afterwards and wash it all off because facial. I just feel like experimenting with makeup today so I thought I would do a crazy cocktail inspired look today. Well I don't know if it's going to be that crazy but I thought I'd do a blue lagoon. So bright blue makeup. <laughs> Show you what it looks like in case you've never seen it. There are like a million different blue lagoons but they all look something like this. Quite a bright blue. Yeah I'm excited. Blue Long Island. I need to do this one. I should screenshot this for later. That's cool. It's like acidic green and blue. So yeah that's what I'm doing it today. I'm just going to get started and chat to you guys. I'm gonna start out with a little primer spray because I just feel dull. <laughs> this is the Quick Fix by Urban Decay. I should tie back my hair because I've got bed hair right now. By the way, this is a bralette and it's from Misguided. It's really cute. I'll show you the like very edge. It smells super coconutty, so if you don't like coconut, stay far, far away from that. <laughs> I'm just going to use a little primer. I just grabbed this one out of my drawer. It's the first one I grabbed. This is Etude House Glow on Hydra Base, which sounds perfect for me right now because in this drier weather, my skin feels a little bit dehydrated and I need a little bit of extra hydration often. This is a really lightweight primer. Like it literally feels like almost nothing on your skin. It feels like water. So after I did that rubber face mask, you know, the one that I didn't really like that much. The next day I woke up with the most painful blind pimples. So if you can see, them and that. Holy crap my skin hated that mask. Full stop hated 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 it. And then this blow up. This was a pimple that was already on my face. It did come out and scab up and just went really ugly. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and think that the mask helped to draw out the imperfections. But yeah, still did not like it. For my foundation today, I'm going to use the Iconic London Pigment Stick in 2.2. Wait, am I? It should probably be a little bit too pale for me. What's 3.3? That might be better. Never mind. I'm going to use 3.3. So these are really creamy. Actually, I might mix the two together. Now, <clears throat> I can't even talk properly. I'm so croaky. 2.2. I'm just going to use a little bit of this too because I feel like the other colors are a little bit too dark. So as you can see, this is really creamy, especially once it's warmed up on your skin. I'm probably using way too much, but it's just really fun drawing stripes on your face sometimes. And I'm going to use a foundation brush today. Let's just use this one because it's right here. This is a vegan flat face brush. I'm just going to buff it in. It blends in so easy. I actually really like this. That color actually ended up being quite good. My fake tan on my neck is so patchy though, so I'm gonna have to like do a little bit of foundation action down my neck. Oh, fake tan life. I've just kind of like not really been fake tanning that much um, this winter because it's just such a hassle when it's winter and your skin's all dry and can't be bothered moisturizing all the time. So this foundation's really buildable. You can add a little more if you want a little bit more, which I want for flawless skin today. So I'm just going to do a little tad more, even though that pretty much covered almost everything. I'm just going to use it under my eyes too. And down my neck a little. Foundations in a stick form are really good for those of you who are in a hurry like I find them so much quicker to apply than a liquid and they're a lot less messy as well. So good if you're on the go like if you're doing your makeup on a train or something like that. They actually covered up my under eyes pretty well so I'm just going to brighten them now. And for this I'm going to use Estee Lauder Genuine Glow Eye Lighting Cream for the eyes and face. So it looks like this but I just like to use it under my eyes sometimes as like a highlighter kind of product to brighten up my dark circles. Because the coverage is fine, I just need to like brighten a little. Now I am using Well Rested by Bare Minerals on a shimmer tulip brush just to set under my eye. And then what should I use for my powder today? I think I'm going to use my Studio Fix, my old fave. And this is in the shade C3. I'm just going to use it on a powder brush. This is the tortoiseshell powder brush. We have a few of these left in stock. Man, my skin looks so good. <laughs> I love good skin days. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup now, like my eye makeup, and then finish off with my face and lips like normal. I don't even know what kind of makeup look I'm going to do on my eyes, but obviously it's going to be very blue heavy. Okay, first let's do the brows. I am going to use my Chi Chi Brow Pomade in Soft Brown, because I haven't actually used this in quite a long time, and an eyebrow groomer brush. Oh, my eyebrows are so hairy. I need to pluck them and put on some Revital Lash. So this product here, you just want to use like the tiniest amount, otherwise it looks so cakey, but with just a little, it looks so good. And 
And then of course, I'm going to use some Gimme Brow on top, which I'm running out of again. And then to prime my eyes today, I'm going to use Natasha Denona eyeshadow base. I love the coverage on this and it makes all of my eyeshadows pop so good. By the way, I'm using an angled eye brush to blend. So I want to run an idea by you guys for a new video kind of series slash not a series, but just like a new video idea I want to do. Pretty much, so you know how I did my decluttering videos, I was thinking of doing like the opposite, like putting my makeup away. So as you guys know, I often get sent like millions of parcels and I have so much makeup to put away. Would you guys be interested in like a video where I put it away, put it in my drawers, organize, and then send me like declutter when I need to get rid of other stuff and like, I don't know. I could always do one and we could see how it goes. But yeah, let me know if you want to see it. Now we are ready for the blue. Okay, I don't even know what like eyeshadows I'm going to be using. I mean, this Dahlia color up the top could be really good. Okay, so I've got that Juvia's Place palette, the Masquerade. And then I've got this 12 Shades of Color by Makeup Store. And then I've got the Natasha Denona palette, which has like the blues down the bottom. So I'm just going to like play with some. Normally I'd use my Z palettes, but I just feel like using my other palettes because I always use Z palettes. So that's why I'm kind of going all over the show, but you can just use any colors you have similar if you are wanting to recreate this look. So looking at the image, it's like dark blue and lighter blue because of the ice. I might just start with like a transition shade first to ease our way into this. So I'm going to use a tulip crease brush and this eyeshadow here, which is called Preppy by Makeup Geek. It's gonna be hopefully the only little single eyeshadow I use because there's a lot of nice shades in that Natasha Denona but they're all very shimmery. So for my transition color, well just to start off the blending, I just want something, you know, matte. Now I'm going to take this Makeup Store palette and use this blue colour. Is this shimmery or matte? I can't tell. It's a little bit shimmery. Okay. I'm going to use an eyeshadow brush with this colour. Oh, I'm scared. And just put this on like near the outer and inner corner. And then I'm taking that light blue. This is going to be like the ice because the ice looks like a really pale minty blue kind of colour. Minty blue. That doesn't even make sense. Just kind of blend that in. These eyeshadows are so nice. I'm going to take that icy blue colour right down here too. And then I'm going to take, do I want this blue? Why not? We'll use this blue here. Down the very outer edge. I'm just using the same eyeshadow brush too because I can't be bothered finding a new brush that is clean. Okay, back with my Trello crease brush, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna start in the crease with this and then I think I'll make it a little bit more vibrant because a blue lagoon is very, very vibrant but I just don't wanna go like bright blue straight away in case it looks terrible. So this is just gonna go in the crease. I'm just working really slowly because it's very colorful. Just like a dot, okay, good. So far so good. It's hard to see on camera, but it's kind of blending in with that first transition brown shade I used, which actually looks really nice. And now I'm going to take a tiny bit of this blue color here and kind of blend that on the inner part of the crease to brighten. I really like that. Just taking that, some of that really shimmery color just there on my finger. I'm just gonna go right in the middle. Oh, I'm drawing blue on my chin of that eyelid oh my gosh that is such a stunning color look at that it's like foiled just blending that out a bit so that looks quite icy and cool i really want to use the dahlia color from this palette here which is this one so i think i'm just going to go ahead and give it a go first off i'm going to take this color in the corner which is a deep bright blue on my tulip crease brush and this could be a huge mistake but we're going in And then in with Dahlia and I'm using a pencil brush. And this is like way more vibrant and like blue lagoonish. See that? 
oh god it is dramatic i think that kind of brings the look together in a weird way because it's so different from the top blue do you know what i mean like it just kind of separates it and makes it look more vibrant i don't know i don't know if i'm making any sense do i have blue eyeliner i sure do i'm going to use this one here cobalt cobalt blue by makeup geek i think black would look really good as well but i'm going all out today i'm going to use this shade here to highlight my brow bone from this palette again if i can find a clean brush oh my gosh shannon i need to wash my brushes so bad Okay, I want to do some glitter. Let's go all out. Okay, these are called X-Ray and Madonna by Lit. I'll put a code for you down below. So X-Ray size 4, Madonna size 3, and I'm going to mix these together. And then here's how they look. So you can see this one's like white, but it's got like kind of bluish reflex. It's quite hard to see actually on camera. And then this one's just straight up like a beautiful blue. So first I'm going to take the more white glitter. I'm going to apply some of that on my inner corner. This is just a Q-tip. See how it reflects that blue? And now I'm taking a mixture of both of the glitters and I'm just going to put that right on the middle of my eye. Just for an extra little bit of glitz. You can still see that shimmery Natasha Denona colour underneath. It just adds a little bit more like dimension and kind of like a wet look. I love this. I love glitter. Oh, fallout. I do have blue eyeliners, so I'm wondering if I just go all out, but I don't know. This one here is really cool because it's like a super dark blue. I might do the super dark blue to represent like the bottom of the cocktail. Do you know what I mean? So this here is called Razor Sharp Eyeliner by Urban Decay in the shade Push. And hopefully this isn't a giant mistake. Kind of matches the bottom lash line, which kind of brings it together. There you go. It's not very pigmented though, this one. This is annoying. It's so watery. I shook it up like three times. Come on. Okay, here we go. That's better. This is so retro. This is such a cool color, but it's so much work. I've had to build it up like three times. Probably should have done the liner before the glitter because the glitter is making it look a little bit crooked. Um, so there you go. Life hack. <laughs> I'm really obsessed with this eye makeup. I know it's like really bright and probably not that wearable, but there's something about it. I just love it. I'm going to use the Tarte Lifted Mascara. And I am going to use falsies today as well, of course. This mascara makes my lashes look so fanned out and like curly. And then for my lashes, I'm going to use the Fangirl, which look like this. Okay, so the lash glue is still drying, but there are the lashes on. I think these ones look so pretty. They kind of make your eyes look really cat eye shaped. Like very almond. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the face now. I have no idea what to match up with this like blue eye makeup. I'm going to use this NARS Seaside Bronzer. Looks like that. I'm just going to use it with a medium face brush. Just to bronze my skin. I feel like blue looks so good when you have bronzed skin. I know that's random. But for some reason, it's true. Same thing goes if you have a deeper skin tone. Like, don't be afraid of blue. Because I feel like it looks incredible. And now I'm going to contour with my Tardis Pro Glow. And a bronzer brush. And then for my cheek colour. What goes with blue? Maybe like a pinky colour. This looks crazy, but I'm going to use Berry Pop by Clinique. But I'm just going to use a small amount just on my medium face brush again. Just like that to create a bit of a flush. And then for highlighter, I'm so excited. I'm going to try out the Iconic London Illuminator. By the way, do you like my nails? I feel like they're really pretty at the moment. <laughs> um, they sent me two of these shades and these look so nice. I did already swatch them, but I haven't tried them on yet. We have the shade Glow and shine. I think I'm going to use shine today, but I'll swatch both of them on my hand for you because they are like pretty impressive. So they look like this and you can like do a little drop a -roo. Don't mind the swatches on my hands, guys, by the way. I was playing with new makeup last night. <laughs> so that's how both of those shades look. And if I just like do a little swipey swipe, look how bright these are. So for me at the moment, the bronze one's probably a little bit too dark for me. But when I've got a lot of fake tan on, I think it'll be really pretty. Um, and the lighter one is like... <laughs> I think it's going to be perfect. So let's try it out on the skin. So I'm going to use this MAC 164 brush 
and just do a few dots first like you don't need much at all it's super super bright so just go slow and you can build it up I'm gonna use this brush you just like blend it sorry my camera just cut out but look how freaking amazing that is like that's one little drop let's build it up this jar will last you your whole life I swear you'll be able to like give this to your grandchildren to inherit I'm just gonna do another little couple of drops I don't want to do too much but I'm really having fun with this it's actually easy to blend some of these I find so hard to blend but this one's really good it actually matches my brow bone highlights so perfectly as well okay so that's one side let's do the other side now so same process I'm just gonna do a really small amount and then kind of distribute and then just dab it up and down to blend it you could use a sponge as well one more <laughs> Now I'm just going to use a little bit on my finger, like, okay, literally like this. Okay, and I don't think I need to set that with another highlighter, like, that is very bright already and I don't want to go too crazy. I've been, like, loving highlighting my chin lately, <laughs> which is random, I know, but whatever floats your boat right if you did want to try any of this iconic london stuff which i've talked about in the past i really like this brand i love like my favorite iconic london product is their contour kit their cream contour kit it's the only one i love because it's so easy to blend yeah if you do want to try anything they've given me a code it is shannon 10 and you'll get 10 percent off so feel free okay let's do the lips i want to do like something pinky or peachy or something i'm going to use the lip liner in legally pink by chi chi first And then for the lipstick, I'm using a Sweet Experience by MAC. My lips are so freaking dry. I apologize. And that is the completed look. You know what? I actually think this lip is way too bright. I mean, it's cool, but it's crazy bright. I don't know. I think we need something a little bit less intense pink. A little bit more subtle. I'm going to do a little concoction of Ubuntu and Meraki. So this is Ubuntu, which is just like a nude. Actually... That actually looks quite nice, don't you think? Because this is like a pinky nude, so it kind of complements the blue and the pink in the cheeks. All right, well, I'll just leave it like that. I was going to mix in a little bit of Meraki, which is like a peachy pink, but I think I like it as is. So this is the completed Blue Lagoon look. Here we go. How do you think I did? Do you think it looks Blue Lagoonish? I definitely think that is pretty good. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I just spit everywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat. Get ready with me. I will list all of the products I use on my face down below in the down bar. Make sure you leave the request for the next cocktail down below. And question of the day. What is your favorite sweet food? I don't even know what my favorite sweet food is. Probably like ice cream or something. Just like plain ice cream though. Or like cookies and cream ice cream. Or cheesecake. Cheesecake's good. I love like fruity cheesecakes. Yeah, fruity cheesecake. Anyway, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.